So in order to understand, we have illustration here. So sales at a Home Depot totaled 200,000, which means all in cash. So Home Depot collected an additional 5% of sales. The store would record that they sales at. So sales gonna be 200,000. Sorry, they received the cash. How much? 200,000 plus the 10,000. So the sales gonna be 200,000. They receive the cash, 210,000. But that 10,000 belongs to them? No, that belongs to state. And for that, we create sales tax payable liability. So. Uh, so sir, so, sorry. Okay, no problem. So you. Uh, okay, so entry would be you receive cash, cash 210,000. You record your sales and then sales tax payable. Simple. So that cash is not yours. It is your liability and liability towards the street. So you need to reward that one. So in some cases, sales already included the taxes, then you will segregate. But here in this case, they clearly mentioned that this is your sales and this is your taxes, right? So in that case, you write it down. Yes, David. I'm just asking out of curiosity, not all countries have that, right? But was that a thing uh, in China? Uh, tax liability for shops and... So mostly it's already connected with the system. So it automatically goes over there. So at, at the end of the month, if you go to the uh, carry for Vanguard, Metro, so they have sophisticated system, ERP system. So whenever you click on the barcode reader, so it disperses instantaneously. And nowadays China has already implemented the digital account for your tax collection or tax payments. So it's on your mobile phone, that's it. So it means oh. you have to wait. The tax on the spot is deposited with the government. And you will be notified on the on yeah. Your that's also the thing in uh, USA and Dubai. They show it on the bill whenever you purchase something. That some of uh, mm. some of these money go to the government as taxes. Yes, but in in in, in some countries, that tax payable is going to be stay with you for a month, and then after a month, you pay lump sum to the government because yeah, yeah. they don't have so much sophisticated technology, the IT as well. It's still underdeveloped over there. So in, in, yeah, in makes sense. developing good developing countries or developed countries, so they already established the you know application IT products. So it's very you know transparent over there. But in other countries, the transparency you know a little bit lacks over there due to this uh, you know, non-availability of this transaction because transition from manual work <laughs> to computer or IT, it's going to it takes time. Right. I hope you already studied in, in management resistance to change. Right. If not, then you will be reading in, 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 in next studies or maybe in some other subjects because that resistance to change is going to be huge. People don't like changes. OK, now accrued liabilities. What does it mean? It means liability occurred, but not paid. Accrued mean already occurred. Since it's liability, you, do, you didn't pay. And what are the categories of accrued liabilities? Salaries, interest payable, income taxes payable. A worker or your uh, staff work for you the whole month, so their salary already due, right? And you need to pay them, right? So this is called accrued liabilities. And how we are going to Account for simple journal entries. So I think we have, yes, we will be having, yes, examples here as well. So the, for salaries and wages payable, normally, or I think majority of the companies, they use the account name as payroll. Because why we created a separate payroll account? Because they want to see that 
how much is you know the salaries uh, expense of my business sometimes it's huge for example in manufacturing companies the salary expense is huge because the daily wages people are there permanent staff is there more than 10000 people are working or 1000 or 500000 people are you know working over there so they create a special account called payroll and then they on this account they just uh you know account for the employee compensation so major expense of the most companies so that's why we use the you know the different name for this one so it, it may take different forms as well for example salary liabilities wages liabilities commission and bonus right it can be a mixture of that one as well so it depends on your company to company so in order to understand how we are going to treat for so we have an the uh, illustration so this is just for assumed figures so if you see the entry here salary expense to salary income tax payable to different types of tax payable and then salary payable so salary payable is the hard cash you are transferring to the employees accounts you are transferring 8000 to the employees account you are paying off your liability not paying off you are creating your liabilities but your expense is 10000 what does it mean why these are not equal because there are some pensions there are some income taxes that employer must deduct and remit to the state right for example if my salary is 30000 in tofa so in tofa they cut 20% of the taxes before but nowadays it's a new system so the whole game is changed so you are responsible to submit your own taxes 20% and how much is the 20% 6000 so 6000 i i did not receive that i receive only 24000 so don't have to do the entry salary payable 24000 but their expense is 30000 so remaining 6000 is the liability that they need to pay to the state so that 6000 go to the chinese government or shanghai government right so that's why salary expense is greater than salaries payable there are some other welfare or pension fund this kind so this this goes a lot big entry as well so this is just for simplicity guys you understand Misha, the, uh, FICA tax. Misha, what was that? Yeah, what what is the uh, FICA tax? What is the percentage? No, no, just about salary payable. There's a FICA tax payable. What is that? This is federal income. This is federal income and excise tax. You know. these are something every country has its own this is this is according to us so salary expense is greater than the salary payable because we also need to deduct your example taxes as well so company must also pay employer's payroll taxes as well So that's why we create several liabilities: salary payable, FICA tax payable, employee tax payable. You know, these are some federal. Like in America, you have 401k plan, pension plan, retirement plan, just like that. So it's already they create different kind of stuff. So that's why in big companies we have a separate payroll department because there are more than 10,000 people and managing their payroll is huge and hectic job as well so they hire people the next one is unearned revenue we also call this deferred revenue or revenue collected in advance unearned revenue just focus on the name unearned which means you don't deserve it right now because you receive the sales amount in advance 
so you don't deserve it right now it means that is the liability when services or goods being delivered then you have the right to record it so before it is a liability the customer can cancel the order and you are liable to pay back the money right so that's why we create liability so it results in a liability which is obligation to provide goods or services when you are when you provide the services then you are eligible to record the sales so we have illustration here so i'm going to be uh, you know reading loud meanwhile i would be asking from you guys to please do participate uh, for this uh, entries so on december 15 southwest airlines collect 300 for a round trip ticket from dallas to los angeles it is a round trip on december 28 the customer flies to los angeles it means one side is complete right what would be the entry first of all customer flied on 28 one way and you receive the money on 15 of december what would be the entry are you liable to record the sales no you don't deserve it on december 15 entry would be cash received to liability which is unearned liabilities unearned sales you can say that it's a ticketing industry so you can just write it down air traffic liability you can write it down unearned revenue as well so since one side trip is already done on 28, now 